Instagram adds new features to stories, Snapchat starts selling spectacles, Nasty Gal files for bankruptcy, and more. It's Thursday, November 10th, and this is Crunch Report. What is up, TechCrunch land? Welcome to the Crunch Report. Hope you're all doing well. You ready for it? You ready for some tech news? Here it goes. Instagram is adding three new features to Stories and what they're calling the biggest update to Stories since its launch. Side note, why do all these companies keep saying the biggest update since they launched? Isn't any update inherently the biggest update since they launched? How do they determine size? Does size matter? Anyway, back to the story. Starting today, the company will let creators add URL links to their stories, add the ability for users to be mentioned in someone's story, and add the ability to add a boomerang to your story without having to go create one in the separate boomerang app. Here's an on-the-spot contest. Create a boomerang of me doing this while mentioning me, here's my uh, handle, with a link to a funny cat video, and I'll give you a shout out to the best one if any come through. All right, that's the deal. Maybe send you a gift or something. I don't know, whatever happens. All right, you're a startup. Your sales channels, what are they? Meetings, door to door, online e-commerce. If you're Snapchat, you're like, no, 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 no. Those won't work. Vending machines, yes, brilliant. Vending machines sell candy and we'll sell new tech through that as well. Line me up some giant yellow vending machines. Genius. Snapchat spectacles are arriving starting today and they'll be available to buy via pop-up vending machines. The so-called Snapbots will dispense spectacles in either black, coral, or teal starting today, letting you first try them on virtually with an integrated AR display. Spectacles are new hardware that work with Snapchat that shoots 10 seconds at a time and makes some cool video that you can watch like this. You see how it's all turning around and stuff? Snapbots can be found using a locator tool on Snapchat's website. Act quick though, because the Snapbots only stay in one place for about a day and will be rotating around to new fun tourist type spots on an ongoing basis. In the aftermath of the election, many have been asking for answers from Facebook regarding their role in controlling information. The Wall Street Journal's Red Feed, Blue Feed popularized the notion that liberal and conservative Facebook users see the world in very different ways as a result of the company's newsfeed algorithm feeding them the stories they're most likely to click on rather than stories most likely to be accurate. Adam Masari, VP of Product Management and Facebook, released a statement today mostly in agreement that the company should be doing more to stop the spread of misinformation. Of course, from Facebook's perspective, it's all too easy to overstep and receive criticism for actively influencing public opinion. While the rest of the tech industry is largely still suffering from emotional shock, Tusk Holdings, the parent of startup policy guru Bradley Tusk's strategy and venture arm, decided to get right back to work by sending out a pragmatic memo to portfolio companies. The firm is confident that both fintech companies playing in the peer-to-peer -peer lending world and sharing economy companies fearful of new worker classification regulations will actually be better off with a laissez-faire Republican party at the helm of the nation. While the memo was certainly practical, given what's at stake with the broader economy, I can't say it makes me feel much better. Nasty Gal, the retailer founded 10 years ago, filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy protection in the Central District of California. In a statement, the company said, we expect to maintain our high level of customer service and emerge stronger and even better able to deliver product and experience that our customers expect and that we take pride in bringing to the market. Now, when I hear a company going bankrupt, I'm usually like, they're being shut down. So I don't understand how they're like, well, we're gonna do better this time. So I need to look into that more. Nasty Gal has raised 65 million over the years, including from Index Ventures and renowned retail executive, Ron Johnson. That's the report for today. I'm Tito Hamzy. Crunch Report airs every week at 7 p.m. Eastern and 4 p.m. Pacific on TechCrunch.com. You can also find us on iTunes and on YouTube. You know what? We'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs>